So we know what Legereus Sneed means to this team or he means to the defense. But what y'all may not know, Legereus Sneed has already been replaced by the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, Brett Veach is a very great GM. And when it comes to getting DBs, there's no secret that he is very good at that. And the reason why I haven't been uploading recently is that I'm actually on a trip right now. I'm around Disney World. So I'm in Orlando, Florida. So I haven't really been able to post because I've been out all day a lot. But this news came at the right time. I was just laying down on my bed until I see that Legere Sneed is being traded to the Tennessee Titans for a third and a seventh. I don't even think it's a this year's third, but either way, man, the Chiefs have a lot of talent at DB. I mean, McDuffie's an all pro. Jalen Watson made big plays when it mattered, and Joshua Williams made big plays when it mattered. Jamari Connor was drafted for a reason. He absolutely killed it as a rookie. So you really can't think that just because Snead is gone the Chiefs DB room is done for and all that and not only that we also have more cap space and we have a lot to work with now now we have cap space to make some moves and let's just see what the Kansas City Chiefs do man I mean a lot of y'all gonna say yeah losing Snead is tough but at the end of the day man we're gonna do without him we're honestly gonna do without him like I said yes losing luxurious Snead is very very tough and he is a key player to the Chiefs defense. He was one of the cornerstones. But like I said, we could easily do fine without him. I mean, you're going to lose players. You're not going to be to pay some players when you're a dynasty. It's going to be very hard to keep everybody. And sadly, with Jerry Sneed, was just one of them dudes that we couldn't keep. Man, I know. I mean, I'm not saying that we didn't want to keep him. I know a lot of people definitely wanted to keep Sneed. But he was just one of them guys that we couldn't really keep. And it happens, you know, we still have McDuffie, like I said, we still have Jalen Watson. Those dudes been replacements from the beginning from when stuff like this is going to happen. Joshua Williams, Shamari Connor, Nick, like drafting all these dudes, they been was replacements because we knew that down the line. We was most likely going to lose a Jerry Sneed. And what a lot of people are not thinking about, y'all not thinking ahead. Okay, we signed a Jerry Sneed to a, a league breaking, whatever contract he wants extension. Now, next year, what are we going to do when we got to pay, I think, what, Creed? Or well, we might not have to pay Creed, but we have to pay Nick Bolton. Yeah, we might have to pay Creed, Nick Bolton, Trey Smith, Dooney. I don't know, man. I don't know. Y'all got to be more realistic, man. We can't keep everybody, bro. We definitely don't want to lose the old linemen. So give us need a big contract. That's just more, that's just more on the cap hit, man. And that's what we decided not to, you know, he didn't want to do it that way. He didn't want it to be more on a cap hit. Sneed getting traded. It was just something that had to happen, man. It really was something that had to happen. Can't can't really cry about it. Can't say the Chiefs are done for. I mean, it's not it's not really nothing. We're not done for. Just another key player, another star player, another great player traded from the Chiefs, man. And he's gonna have to get replaced like every other player that was good that had to lead the Chiefs. It happens. Um, only thing we can do is move forward from this point. And when it comes to McDuffie, we got to, you know, expect him to take that role. I mean, Sneed played in the nickel. He was a slot corner. And he took the outside role. So I think McDuffie could do the same thing. I really don't think it's going to be a problem. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I think McDuffie could play outside corner. And um, even if the Chiefs don't feel confident enough in their DB room, Vito just found another stud DB. I mean, the guy's a genie. He's a genius when, genius when it comes to DBs, man. A lot of y'all got to realize Brett Veach is an above-average drafter when it comes to drafting DBs. And he is going to find a cornerback that's good in late rounds. That's just what he does. It's always talent everywhere in the draft. You just got to find it. So, it's not really about losing Sneed. It's just about what we're going to do to replace him. Now, I understand the deal. I don't. I still didn't read the contract yet. I just saw Sneed traded and I mean, the deals yet. I just saw Sneed traded and I wanted Mackie Kane to make the video. But third and seventh, and I think it was a next year's third. If it's a next year's third, that's just shitty. Like, you know, we wanted a this year's third. But either way, he's traded. He's gone now. We got to deal with his Chiefs fans. Um, definitely gonna miss Snead. He gave us a great year. He was playing out his mind, but he went that bag, and that's obviously something the Chiefs couldn't do for him at the moment, or they don't feel like he's worth that much. Cause you know, with Chris Jones, they didn't hesitate to lock him, lock him back up. Don't let him hit the market. They didn't hesitate to give him that, you know, that franchise 
breaking deal. But with Snead, they really gave him a hard time. Most likely lowballing him. But at the end of the day, man, you can't really pay a corner 25 or 23, 24. You can't pay him Jair money when he has improved his Jair. This is a one-season thing for Jarius Snead. He's had an absurd season, but it is still a one-season thing. It could be a contract year thing. Who knows, man? Like, last year he played fairly well, too. But this year was to another level. And he's been he's always been well, what I'm saying. Playing, like, the best corner in the league. This was only for one year. We didn't. We don't know if it's going to continue. We don't know what's going to happen. So, risking it and giving him a deal like that just wouldn't have really made sense. And you could just replace him. And with the, with the cap space, if you make the right moves, you get a lot of production out of that money that was freed up. So I expect the Chiefs to be very aggressive with what they do now in free agency. Still a lot of good free agents left. And heading into the draft, we could be more flexible because there's a lot going on when it comes to the draft. But we don't even know if we're going to pay Trey Smith yet. So when it comes to the draft, we're looking at a guard, the interior o and we're looking at a um, left tackle. And we also want a wide receiver. So it's going to be a lot. It's going to be very complex. So if you just handle a few things in free agency right now, then you could be more flexible in the draft. If you sign a veteran wide receiver like Tyler Boyd, Josh Reynolds, or Odell Beckham Jr., then you could definitely have flexibility to get a third-round wide receiver or a second-round wide receiver. I know y'all tell me to sound like I have more energy in my videos, but I'm not going to lie. I definitely couldn't do that for y'all boys today. I mean, look, man, I was in Disney World. I was walking all day from what like nine in the morning to like 10 in the night so i'm very tired can't i definitely can't put on the energized voice right now plus this was just a quick video i didn't expect to do this because i didn't think legerious sneed was gonna get traded tonight but things happen randomly and after i upload this video i'm gonna be looking around chief's twitter see how they're reacting and how everybody's taking it um i hope i know veach is getting a whole lot of slander right now since it's out of this year's third but it's very it's it's very very like i don't know the deal is just i don't know it, it's really crazy that sneed isn't a chief no more he's gone but that's a part of the game man at the end of the day the nfl is a business dudes, dudes are gonna want their bags they're gonna want their money they're gonna feel like they played so good to the point where they need their money stuff like that's gonna happen can't really you know can't really be mad at it people gotta feed their families people gotta make money people gotta do what they gotta do you know they're people just like us. This is how we want money. We want to be able to feed our families. We want to be able to provide. We do our reasons. I mean, we have our reasons to want a lot of money. We do our things to get money. So do NFL players. It's not going to always be about being loyal to the team. You know, he's won three rings, no two rings. So, you know, he's just at that point where, you know, what he wants to do is just make his money. He already run two championships, so he really has nothing else to do. I know it's a black screen right now, my fault. She's probably already on my man, peace.